What's up everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV and today we're going to go over how to unlock dying within the game. And no, I don't mean your character actually dying and forever being gone. I mean dyeing your clothes with different colours of dye and all that kind of good stuff. So you probably run across a merchant that sells you dye but we can't use it yet because we need to unlock it. So again, similar with the unlocking of the esthetician dude, which does hairstyles and stuff and facial features. Similar to that, we gotta get to level 15 and also finish the story quest up to the point where you unlock all the different cities. And it's, it's probably pirates is the one I'm on and that's literally just after you finish those. So once you get to this stage and you reach level 15 and everything, before we go and run all the way to the quest that gives us dying, we need to stop by the pot watch here in Ulda. It doesn't have to be Ulda, but anywhere you can find a pot watch or a merchant that sells food and stuff. Find them first, it'll save you a bit of time, then running all the way to the guy that gives you the dye stuff, and then he's like, oh, I need some orange juice, and you're like, where the hell do I get that? So this is where we want to go to the pot watch person and buy a pot of orange juice for a seven gill. It's not going to break the bank, to be honest, so... Once we've got that, the next step will be, let me show you on the map here and make it real, real nice and big for you. Wow. Okay, so we're currently in Ulda. So where we want to go is actually Western Thanalan. So this is the map for Western Thanalan, and then it goes all the way up here. You may or may not have Horizon unlocked already. If you do, go ahead and teleport there because the quest is located in Vesper Bay, which is here. So we do have to walk that extra bit, which is why I said get the orange juice first rather than walking there and then having to go back to all done and then Horizon and then walk all the way there again. So I'm going to teleport to Horizon. I've also got another quest on the way there that unlocks guild levies and battlecraft levies. All right, so now we're in Horizon on the way to the dude that gives us the coloring quest. It's called Color Your Worlds. So if you do see this quest, pick it up because that is the dying quest. And anytime you see this little plus sign on top of a quest icon, that isn't the main story obviously, that is something to unlock something else. So it could be a dungeon, it could be the thing I'm about to do now which is guild hest, it could be dyeing a character, clothing, it could be unlocking the aesthetician or hairstylist guy. So this here is when I picked up the main guild levy quest from the main town. Simply the Hest, okay? <laughs> so this unlocks a different style of dungeon. It's like a mini dungeon boss fight thing. So I'll just complete this quickly. And now we can do guild Hests. So what that means is... Guild Hests now available and the first one always gives you a completion bonus which is actually quite decent. So. I know this is totally off track again, but there's a lot of different features of this game that need to be mentioned. Alright, and yes, so now you've got the duty finder unlocked for Guild Hess, and as you level more will unlock as you go. And it's just another way to earn experience if you want to do a quick grouping thing with people, but it only lasts about maybe like two to five minutes, depending on which one it is. They're really not very long, it's like, it's like a mini, 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 mini dungeon thing with a boss, just one boss. Okay, so now we're walking over to Vesper Bay. I apologize, I'm not on my chocobo. Oh yes, check that out. Oh, we've got a cool chocobo coming up. Let's try and follow the path though, a little bit better than this. Here he comes! It's a two-person chocobo. Chocobro. I don't know where you get that. Unless... That definitely looks like the draft one. But I'm not sure. So this is on the way to Vesper Bay. It'll look pretty nice when you come in here. Especially if the sun's like setting or something. Ooh! Hello! Alright. <clears throat> and then we want to see what we're doing here. So this person, Surugaim, I, I don't know how to say her name. So color your world. She wants to show you a whole new world of colors. Okay, and she gives us some dyes as well to start with. They're not brilliant, let me just tell you that. You, you here, yes you, the decisive, unfashionable adventure. <laughs> okay, so then she tells you a quick story. And then it says deliver a bottle of orange juice to this person and we've already got that so I can just go ahead and turn it in right away. Unfortunately there is not a vendor that sells it in 
Vesper Bay, so we do have to go to like Ulda or a different city to get it. So just save yourself some time. All right, and now we've completed this quest, unlocked dying. So active help entry has been added. What we want to do next, if you're on PC, go ahead and press P because this is where all your weird skills are. Not sure about console, but wherever you go to view all your like abilities and stuff for your class, just go into general. And in here you'll see the die button, so you can just drag this onto your bar. So now we've got die, and I can only die one thing at the minute, which is something I'm not even wearing. Not currently visible, so let me visible that. Alright, so this is what it looks like. And then we can dye it a weird colour here. I mean, let's give it a go. And then we're just like straining a bit for the dyeing. Alright, and now it's yellow. So this, this is how you unlock it. Then all the vendors, of course, they sell lots of different dyes. You can unlock certain dyes from different places. Like, I'm pretty sure you can do, like, reputation um, merchants. If you have a certain reputation, you can buy a dye from them. You can also buy it from the Moogle, the Mog Station thing as well. Some of these more fancy dyes here, like dark black and, and the metallic-y colours, which I don't have unlocked. But anyway, that's just the very first step to unlock dyeing in Final Fantasy XIV. And it's just called Color Your World in Vesper Bay. Get yourself a bottle of orange juice while you're going there and you'll be started. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know it wasn't very long, but it was quite a quick topic to go over with you guys. So if you do have any other suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Of course, like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more and we'll see you again next time very soon. Goodbye.